getting that big block and getting up, finishing all the way around, and seeing if I can get my left foot up sooner or the back. So, Whew. always so many cues. Let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. It has been forever, so I'm gonna start calling this season two, I think. Let's go season two, episode one, and I'm gonna start off by bringing you guys to my warm up. I'm gonna head outside, do some running, uh, jogging, get everything going, get a little sweat going, but it's raining out, can't bring my camera. Then I'll be back inside to do the rest of my warm up, show you guys what I do for that, and then we'll get into some discus today. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, first warm up exercise I'm doing, I'm going to hurdles, gonna do some uh, hurdle steps over top of them, going forward sideways and backwards to loosen up the hips, get everything moving. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. All right, so the next thing I do is some core activation. My favorite exercise in the morning for core activation is some planks. It just gets everything fired up. And if I wake up and my back's tight at all, by the time I do core, get it all activated and get everything firing, it takes all the pressure off my back. So definitely important to get that core activated, especially if you're having back problems. The last part of my world that I want to do before I get throwing is just give this quick little shout out to the Hyper Isis company. I'm not sponsored by them, but I do believe in these products 100%. So I wanted to mention it to you guys. They are on the bit of the expensive side, but I know a bunch of people that have had these. I said they've had them for, um, at this point, one guy's had it for a year and a half. Um, no problem, anything like that. So worth the investment. It's around like $200, I think, for the foam roller and $150 for the ball. But um, the amazing thing about these is they've got uh, some whatever motor in it that uh, causes the foam roller and ball to vibrate and it's the best for breaking up muscles and uh, things like that to just continue to warm everything up. I use the ball for my pec to loosen everything up and, and my armpit and everything. I want to mention that to you guys in case you're interested in them and uh, I think they're definitely worth their investment especially if I can stay injury free which is one of the biggest things. I mean if I can avoid getting a couple of massages or physical therapy sessions then I save the money on this foam roller so you, know, you gotta weigh your options when you buy something like this. But, I'm gonna foam roll, get this done, and then get throwing, and I'll see you guys there. I'm about to go throw, but I just want to quickly mention that um, I want to include all this warm up because this is something that I've been doing, and the last few weeks it's helped me so much. I've been waking up every day, haven't been injured, um, backs me a little tight in the mornings with the core activation, like I was showing. Uh, really helps it out. So paying attention to the small details in the warm up, making sure you activate everything, get a good sweat going, make sure your muscles are nice and loose and you're ready to go. It can help prevent injuries and preventing injuries is so key to being a successful thrower or athlete in general. So I just wanted to mention that real quick. Just make sure that if you've got any problems, uh, find out what exercises you can do for it to fix those problems up, continue to do them. And I couldn't raise my shoulder or do anything uh, a couple weeks ago. After doing all the rehab exercises, everything's feeling great. So. Anyway, let's get into this throwing. I'm excited. I'm feeling some really good things with my technique. I want to show you guys. I'm trying to go quick so I'm not holding everyone up, but a couple things I've been working on in my stand throws. The first one is in my wind, keeping my arm, uh, my off arm, square with my shoulder as I wind up, and then trying to keep it there um, with the disc at my shoulder. Finishing nice and flat with my hands so the disc flies flat, and then uh, finishing all the way around into the sector and not pulling off the finish. So. Bunch of cues, but it's feeling good, so let's uh, try to do it. Yep, 
feels good. Just thinking, keeping it nice and long, keeping this off arm long, and just trying to finish here with a nice finish. But it feels like it's going in the throwing direction. It feels like it's coming to my hand decently flat. From town to town, from London to Taiwan, I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. I moved on to full throws, and there's a bunch of things I've been thinking about. Uh, the biggest one right, right now is I changed my entry a bit by not touching the disc and just trying to think the same things about stand throw, keeping my right shoulder long, and then out of the back, keeping that long, and through the whole throw, wrapping up. So that's the main focus, and then trying to finish flat with my hand and throw it straight down the middle of the sector. So pretty similar cues to my stand throws, but I think it's all important cues to uh, throw it well. Same thing, just keep legs long, get a good block, stay tall on the finish, and uh, keep working it. Long, all the way out of the back, wrap, big block, finish nice and tall. Disc in the middle of the sector. Came a little bit early, usually means pulling a bit too hard with this or the disc is getting a bit too far behind. So keep the disc with me, finish nice and level, and all the way into the middle of the sector. Yeah. So I'm saying I'm coming to the back and leaving my left behind. Just to try to, I guess, get it going. Just try to pick it up faster and, uh, Maybe use that to whip me around to get that stronger block. Long, get that left up, long wrap, good block, and finish in the throwing direction. Let's go. Doing the same thing, long picking up that foot, wrap, finish. Um, I just need to really get the disc all the way around to the middle of that sector, and it just it needs to be more patient. I need to just have it feel like it's a longer finish, I think, because I'm just getting anxious. Um, so I'm just gonna try to think about just keeping it long and feel the ground as long as I can. Same thing, I just recorded, or I just watched a video that Martin recorded. Um, looking at it, it feels like I'm trying to get that left foot up faster. It might be getting up a little bit faster, but it's still getting left pretty far behind as I'm rotating out of the back. So let's make that the cue and finishing in the middle of the sector. Martin had to leave, so I'm watching my own videos, trying to figure out what I need to fix right now. Um, it feels good, I think, through the circle. It looks pretty good. Um, throw the whole throw. The finish, I just look like I was finishing uh, down instead of standing up nice and tall, so it's going to work. Uh, same thing as the beginning and the first couple sand throws. Getting that big block and getting up. Finishing all the way around and seeing if I can get my left foot up sooner out of the back. So, Whew. Always so many cues. Let's get it. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Uh, feeling a lot of good things in my technique right now, and I kind of want to wait to start doing videos again until my technique was feeling more solid so I can uh, have some good stuff to show you guys and not showing you things that um, aren't gonna help you at all. So there's a lot of things I wanna do for this, uh, I guess, season of some JY Throws videos. Uh, I wanna get a new intro recorded, and I really wanna just put some more time into editing, doing some fun things, some B-roll, just some stuff that I enjoy to do for video making, so I wanna do that. It was just rainy today, so. I wanted to start recording this Monday, and since it was raining, I figured now I'd get something and uh, doing what I can with what I got for the weather today. But hopefully tomorrow I can record another video, get some good stuff, get a new intro going, and uh, 
just do some fun things with uh, this season of some JY throw. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I'll be back hopefully very soon with another video. See you guys then.